Once upon a time, one fine October evening in 19th century England, there was... What? Where? Oh no! My halo! My wings! What? What happened? Just keep dreaming, Talarel. Umarel. You'll never be an aviator. Where are Salome and Azel, your faithful wing men? Don't say they've given up already. No, but it might be better if you didn't even compete. We're going to fly your team into the ground. Sure, if the test was about how much hot air one can spout, and not how good you are in the air. But if you're so sure of yourself, then why don't you show me what you've got, instead of just blabbing on about it? Show me, hmm, the incredible wing breaker. Or are you scared to? Because to do that, you'd need to get close to Heaven's Barrier. Talibur. Oh, I feel sick. Where are we? Well, we are in heaven. You, however, my friend, you are on earth. What? What in heaven's name were you thinking to simply fly through the heavenly barrier without permission? That, that wasn't my fault. Something, something rammed me and forced me through it. Of course it wasn't. And where in heaven's name is your halo? What? Um, absolutely no idea. You must find it, immediately, before it falls into the hands of a mortal. How else are you going to get back through the heavenly barrier? Yes, and with a bit of luck, you'll make it back before Gabriel and the other archangels notice. Uh, Azael? What? Just take a look at his back. Oh. What? Is there something behind me? No. Well, not anymore. What? What do you mean? I will be able... Well, not like that you won't. Your wings will need to grow again first. And they can only do that in heaven. What are we waiting for? I look for my halo, and you think of a way of getting me out of here. Ha! <laughs> Forget it. We shouldn't even be appearing here as visions. If we fly through the heavenly barrier as well, they and if I'm not back in time, they won't let Salome and you take the angel exam without me. Don't worry, Talibur. We will help you as much as we can. But before we figure out how you're going to get back to heaven... With no wings. You must find that halo of yours. <sighs> what did I do to deserve this? Oh, there's my halo. I absolutely have to get it back as quick as possible. Hey, why can't I reach that? That's weird. Wait a minute, while I transport myself into the heavenly library. Ideology, idiots... Ah, interstellar travel. Hmm, I've never seen this book here before. Do not panic. What a strange title. Are you sure it will help us? Well, here is something about planets. Planets are in the material plane and use the widely recognized as outdated concept of time and space. While time is something that usually takes care of itself, 
Space tends to create unnecessary distances. Avoid where possible. Great. And how is that supposed to help me? Ugh, don't act stupider than you already are. This space dictates that you can't reach your halo from here. Space, time, distance. I'm sub through. Ah, my poor. This strange winged creature doesn't. Hello, winged creature. Without your halo, you can forget about talking to lower creatures for now. Hmm. Aha! Outstanding performance. An old rag with a strange pattern on it. The crow is gone. Now I can... Ah! Oh, reach in there. <laughs> Phew, that was a close squeak. A close squeak? We're done for. If that little furball pops its clogs because of you, then... I know, I've brought... Well, it's not... And the Archangel Michael will haul us over the coals, because we are... Talaril, it is vital that you retrieve your halo as quickly as possible. This instant. Right! Then I can send this little furball soul back into its body. Good idea, Salome. Seems to be some to preserve that they may. Someone certainly didn't get the Inquisition. It doesn't exist anymore, especially not here. It doesn't. You don't notice anything, do you? This is England. They have a state church and a few bad-tempered officials, and that's it. At least it should be. Strange. Hey, they're glow. Who knows when that might prove useful? Strange thing. I honestly don't have the slightest. Oh, it's pretty dark. There's no way. I'm afraid you'd have to provide your own lights on this planet. What? What kind of planet is this where you have to provide your own light? Hmm. They're not that easy to catch. Hmm, I think these are insects. Insects. It is no coincidence that insect rhymes so well with infect. All that is usually required to protect oneself against insects is to stay away from any sources of sweet scents. Ah, uh, and how is that supposed to help me capture those things? Ah, Talarel said let there be light, and there was light. Now I have an original sticky thingy strange glowing critter's lamp. Another one of those flying thingies. I can't talk to these creatures until my halo has been recharged. My halo? I can't... My hail... I can't reach that... F Just fly up there. Oh, sorry. Your wings are broken. How very useful, Azale. Thank you ever so much. My old friend, St. Peter. Friend? Right. The way you always bothered him in heaven. Good likeness, though. Who would have thought they'd build him a statue? He is the guardian of the gates of heaven, and people are so eager to go to heaven. Makes sense, right? I'm not so sure St. Peter wants to chat with me. I'm not... ...completely rotten. The handle is completely rotten. I'll just take the head. Come on, show the humans your left hook. It's not a flaming sword, but I'm sure it'll prove useful. A metal weathercock. Pretty crooked.
No, I'm definitely not talking to these humans without good reason. The less these strange earth creatures see of me, the better. St. Peter's Key. Locked. Hmm. Locked. It won't work like that. I'm not so sure. Why would I want to do that? Why would I? It won't work. A heap of pebbles. So many possibilities. A few stones. They always come in handy. Why would I want to... Oh, no. Great. Hmm. If I want my halo back, it seems I have no other choice but to go in there. But watch out. There's a reason why not all humans go to heaven. Hey, who do you think you are? Get off of my land. What a lovely welcome. Stand aside, man. The powers of heaven reign on earth. Lower your, um, lance and stand aside. A little less pomposity would have done just as well. What do you want? Are you from the Inquisition? What are you talking about? You know, the Inquisition. Never heard of it? Not really. Hmm. If you don't know about the Inquisition, you probably ain't a part of it. No. But maybe this is just a trick. You're gonna have to prove that I can trust you first. I guess. Let's see, uh, uh, how about this? Insult Greta. I mean, really insult her. That's beneath my dignity. Which would you prefer? Beneath your dignity or beneath the earth? Without a halo. Greta st stinks. Seriously? Come on, put your back into it. How am I supposed to insult someone I don't... You don't know Greta? Worst harpy in the entire country. And unfortunately, now a resident of Heaven's Hope. Greta's a witch. A witch. And what a witch she is, too. Oh, you're right there. <laughs> and none of her folk would ever say that about her, neither. They'd all be afraid of being put on the pyre. <sighs> all right, then. Come on in. Hey, would you look at you? Never seen nothing like it. Just who are you anyway? I, um, am an earthling that walks 
And breathes. Yes, that's it. Breathes. I'm not sure he believes you. <clears throat> Human, I am an angel of the Lord, walking on earth amongst mortals for the first time. Have no fear. I said, have no fear. You hit your head, didn't you? What? No, I'm walking on... Sure, sure. Boy, you just can't walk around here telling people you think you're an angel. I am an angel. Why can I not proudly proclaim it to the world? Because the Inquisition would immediately throw you on the pyre for heresy. And me right there with you, just for talking to you. Cause she don't like me on account of me being a Yankee anyway. Yankee? Even though I'm from Tennessee. From Tennessee what now? Wait one minute. I am an angel. I may have lost my halo and must let my wings regrow, but... Oh, so now you can fly too? This is getting crazier by the minute. Listen, if God had wanted us humans to fly, he would have given us wings. But I'm not a human. I am an angel. And I have to get back to heaven. And to do that, I have to fly. Hush your mouth. Don't be yelling like that around here. Oh, no, no, no. That can only be McCallum. Quick, you gotta hide. Where? Don't matter, don't matter. Quick, hide yourself. Open up! In the name! of the Inquisition! Oh, darn, if that ain't all we need. What? Who? That's Greta's henchman, McCallum. Golly darn it all. You're gonna have to hide yourself away. Come on, boy, get a move on. Open up! I know you're in there, Bill. Now open the door. All right, now. Just give me a sec. Get yourself hid. It's dark. Under no circumstances. I don't have time. That is much too small. I don't have time. Yeah, I could hide up there. Careful, fire is dangerous. Yeah, I know. That's why I never would have gone up there. So the fire is just gonna have to go. Oh my God, what thinks? I think that... Oh! Hide myself in a pot of hot... It won't... A piece of cheese. Uh, a bit... Get ya. I don't have time for that now. If you don't... Aha! Take that, fire! That's what I call a decent hiding place for someone from heaven. Quiet now. Don't let the guy who's thumping at the door hear you. <laughs> Bill, 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 why did that take so long? Don't for one minute think that you could hide anything from me. My eagle eye spots everything. Most dreadful sorry, Mr. McCallum. I was not expecting you. No one expects the Holy Inquisition. No, for sure. The element of surprise is most important. Fear and surprise. The two most important things are fear and surprise. Well, you succeeded there. And efficiency. The three most important things are surprise, fear, and efficiency. And a death-defying faith in Holy Mother Church. Well, this is all getting a bit much for me. Enough chit-chat. Let's get to the point. Why did you miss evening mass? I, uh, well, well now, uh, I'm not so good on my pegs anymore. And Vladich the coachman was going to cart me into town. But he never showed. And the steeple clock, it's had it. How am I to know? Bill, 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 Bill. Do you know what you're saying? This parish has been running like well-oiled clockwork since Greta, the Lord Protector, 
at long last introduced the Inquisition and brought order back to the place. But if the smallest little cog, like yourself, gets out of step, everything could get out of kilter in Heaven's Hope again. And we'd see the return of Sodom and Gomorrah. Is that what you want? No, that's, uh... I wouldn't allow it. Believe me, if I've learned one thing in the British Army, it's the meaning of punctuality and precision. I'm going to let forgiveness triumph over the rule of righteousness today, Bill. However, should you miss evening mass again, let's put it like this. Wheels are one of my specialities. I wish you a very good evening. Wasn't there something else, Bill? God, uh... Save the Inquisition. That's what I wanted to hear. Um, can I come down now? Uh, yep. Uh, he's, uh, he's gone. Stop. That belongs... You can't... Oh, and by the way, so that you can tell your grandchildren someday, my name is Talarel. Talarel? That's, uh, a nice name. Talarel is a nice name, yeah. Could you perhaps tell me the name of the nearest gathering of your Earthlings? I think it's called a settlement. The name of the nearest settlement? That'd be Heaven's Hope. Used to have a different name, but that Inquisitor, Greta, renamed the place. Nice place. Always liked living here. Leastways up until that crazy Greta done showed up here. <sighs> what about this Inquisitor? Greta? Greta, exactly. She just turned up one day and started telling about faith and, and church and sacred stuff. Being somewhat more restrained, good old Father Bartholomew simply didn't have a chance. Especially after McCallum got all head up and joined Greta's side. Say, can I have the cheese? The one from... Hmm, sure. Just help yourself to a piece. What do you do here? Farming and ranching. No, I mean here, in this part of the world. You said you come from somewhere else. Oh. I'm from Tennessee, which is in the New World. Well, ain't so new anymore. But that's what they call it here. Long time ago now. Then why did you come here? My beloved wife Stacy, God rest her soul, she was born here in England. And always wanted to come back. And when the whole thing with the slaves and so on over there started getting worse, well, we decided to move over here. Your wife died? Yep, she fell ill shortly after we got the farm up and running. Enough sad stories of days gone by. I'll be going then. A strange flap. I can see something shining through the gap. That must be my halo. Ah, there's my halo, way up the top of this flue. That's not easy to get to. Ah, there's my halo, way up the top of the... Good idea, but then my halo would fall into that filth. Out of the question. So now the nice clean pamphlet is lying in that disgusting filth. That should work, and my halo won't fall into that disgusting filth, but onto that paper instead. My halo! Well, finally, my halo! And I'll keep this piece of paper. Oh, no, 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 my halo, it's... it's out of power. What? It must have lost energy on the impact with this silly matter. 
and then use the rest for the recovery signal. Oh, that's not good. You must get it recharged with heavenly energy. And how is he supposed to do that? He can only get heavenly energy in heaven, and he can only get into heaven with the halo. Well, then he'll just have to come up with something. Cheese is always useful. Why would I want to do... Why would I... You wouldn't perhaps know how one goes about flying on this plane of existence, would you? Flying? Listen, <laughs> you ain't right in the head. Boy, if God had wanted us humans to fly, he would have given us wings, like the birdies. Yeah, yes, I know. Let's assume, for just a moment, that God had already given me wings once, and was therefore comfortable with the idea of me flying. Whom would I have to contact if that were the case? Hmm. The only one around here crazy enough to want to try to fly is Bloomford. He's wacky as a loon anyways, and claims he's some sort of scientist. Yeah, that sounds good. So where can I find this Bloomford? Bloomford lives smack in the middle of Heaven's Hope, though it's probably only a matter of time until Greta puts him on the pyre. Can you tell me how to get to Heaven's Hope? Sure, it's easy. You just head through the woods and you're almost there. But listen, you aren't planning on just marching into Heaven's Hope in that tattered angel's costume, are you? I already told you. This is not a costume. This is my aviator's uniform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you're an angel. Sure you are. No matter what you is or ain't, you can't march into Heaven's Hope in that getup and say you're an angel. I am! An angel. Heard you the first time. But even if you are an angel, you can't let them know in Heaven's Hope. And that's why you need new clothes before you can go into town. But where am I supposed to get those from? Looky here, I'm just trying to keep you from being burnt alive in the marketplace. I ain't your personal fashion consultant. You're the angel. You think of something. What have you got against my aviator's uniform? Well, nothing. Except it's all tore up and looks like a cheap angel costume. And you want to wear it into a city where the Inquisition's pulling all the strings. What ha- Well, nothing. I'll be go- No, that's hard. It won't work. Why would I? I can barely see. Actually, just enough to know that I don't need any of. I can barely see. Actually. Another one of those. F I can't talk to these. Hmm. I need heavenly energy. But if I can't go to heaven, then heaven. What on earth are you on about now? No, he's right. It's not a bad idea. If he can manage to get St. Peter to fire some heavenly energy down to the Earth, it could charge the halo here. Put it on and give it a try. It won't work like that. Hmm. Let's talk to St. Peter. Hello, St. Peter. Remember me? Could you maybe help me? My halo has run out of power. What did you expect? After the way you always made fun of him in heaven.
No wonder they made you responsible for the weather. Nobody can rely on you, can they? I mean, Jesus tried it. By the way, what happened to him? Oh, that was really mean, Telemel. That's right. You have to make him really angry. Giving you the title Fisher of Men. Talk about a joke! When you were just a man yourself, why, back in the Sea of Galilee, you couldn't even catch a blind fish. I never would have thought that that would annoy him so much. There's no way an old geezer like you should be in charge of Heaven's Gate, especially considering you're just a sainted human. It's just a matter of time until you lose not only your teeth, but your key as well. <laughs> oh, well. You're just like that weathercock up there, going whichever way the wind blows. Oh, does that remind you how you denied Jesus three times before the rooster crows? I can hardly remember ever seeing St. Peter this angry. <laughs> But how can I push him over the edge so that he explodes? <laughs> Great. I managed to get hit with a load of heavenly energy, but none of it was stored in my halo. Maybe I need some kind of lightning rod. Whoa! Hey, boy! You just get struck by lightning? And you ain't dead? How about that? I said I was an angel. If you done survived that, you really must be an angel. Hmm. Let's talk to St. Peter. <laughs> It worked! Thank you, old-timer. No offense. Now I feel like a real angel again. Well, except for the wings. <sighs> At least you have your angelic powers back. Now, find a quiet corner where nobody can see you and resurrect that little furball. Quick! Hmm. Locked. I'll be going then. Let's see if that works. Okay, that worked. Yeah, sure. But how can I get rid of this lice-ridden furball? I think you can forget that. Great. A somewhat big-boned mouse with near-death experience. Hmm, that's sitting pretty firm. With clothes that dirty, I certainly wouldn't stand out here. Uh, hello? I'm Talarel. Good evening, Talarel. Uh, what are you doing here? Were you crucified? I... I guard this field uh, as if it were my own uh, familia. Um, I see. I'm an angel. Do not be afraid. I fear a no one. That's a fine coat you have there. Could I perhaps borrow it? That I cannot do. 
I'll give you whatever you want for it. We haven't known each other for a very long. And today, you come to me. For the first time, asking for help and advice. Bold as a brass. And you haven't even invited me to your house for a cup of tea yet. I, um... Let's uh, be completely open uh, with each other. Do you value my friendship? Or are you afraid of uh, uh, being indebted to me? I, uh... And you just waltz up to me, don't even know my name, and ask me for my clothes? But you show me not an iota of respect. Don't even ask for my friendship. Well, I... Uh... Talorel. Talorel. What have I done to you, actually? How do you come to me, extending the hand of friendship? Uh... Bene. Summer day. And that day I may never come. I'll call upon you to do a service for me. Oh, uh, okay. But as long as I haven't done that, you are not getting this coat. So is there some little favor I could... Well, it is autumn, huh? It's windy. Uh, accidents uh, happen. Yes. My hat, uh, my father's hat, uh, God rest his soul. If you could get uh, that back for me, uh, I would regard that uh, as a favor. I'll... I'll... Hmm, could that be one of the... But how... Maybe you are useful for something, little fur ball. Really? That creature now has its hat back on its head. Now it's... Uh... I'm... Good evening. I've... Well, well, well. You really have a done me a favor getting that, no? Would you maybe now be prepared to, um, swap clothes with me? Va bene. Accept uh, this coat as a gift. Celebrating uh, the first day of our friendship. Just remember, we are friends now. Uh... Uh, I... Good evening. Well, my friend. Good. Uh... Oh, yeah. You can't have... Another one of the... Can you tell me which way to go? That was no help whatsoever, but... Well, what do you say to my fine new threats? Well, look at you. Quite the gentleman. That looks familiar somehow. At any rate, you can head on into Heaven's Hope now, long as you don't run around telling folks you're an angel. And, uh, how do I get to this Heaven's Hope? Real easy. You just go straight through the woods and then follow the sign. Here, I even got a map for you. Generally speaking, you can't really get lost in Heaven's Hope. The whole city is built around the marketplace. You can tell by the huge pyre in the middle. And if you do manage to get yourself lost someday, just head to the center of town. 
There's lots of signs there, or you can check your map. How can I find this scientist, Bloomford? Ain't hard. You just head on into Heaven's Hope. His lab is right smack dab in the middle. I'll be going then. St. Peter's Key. Locked. I'm not so sure St. Peter won. Why would I want it? It won't work like that. I can't do that. A little heart carved in there, with the letters S and B in it. A tree. Somehow, its appearance is rather reassuring. Um, uh, hello? Rather looks like he's not interested in chatting with you. Maybe he's just asleep. Uh, maybe. A yellow flower. Um, hello? Seems to be asleep. Hmm, he's rather shaky. A beautiful prominent location on the river with a very good lighting, which is reflected in the water. A river full of water. 